Seven universities from across Africa will for the next two days deliberate on how to tackle issues ranging from limited ICT and artificial intelligence readiness in education institutions to the urgent need for better teacher training, climate change adaptation and gender equality in technical and vocational education. There is need to constantly review the curricula that our learners go through, both at primary, secondary and university level. Because I think there is a lot we can do in realizing the challenges that our countries face and we address them through curriculum reform at all levels. The conference seeks to identify practical solutions to systemic barriers that prevent students, regardless of background or ability, from accessing quality education. Our curriculum, as you may know, is in the process of being transformed from the former knowledge-based, objective-biased to competence-based learning. And this one is highly inclusive because each learner comes up with an innovation in your own area of thinking and working. And this project helps you to understand the, the content and also the concepts of the actual learning process. So as I speak, we have it at lower secondary, but we also have now an adapted version at the higher, um, higher secondary, which you call A level. And the process is on for the review of the lower secondary, uh, lower, uh, lower school. Mbogo University is one of the leading institutions that provide education, access to people with learning difficulties, people with disabilities, and as much as providing facilities for these people remains expensive, the university has tried its best with the support of government to give access to education for these people with disabilities. Uganda's education system continues to grapple with challenges of relevance and equity from outdated teaching methods and limited digital readiness and inequalities affecting learners with disabilities. As universities adapt to a rapidly changing world, the need to align higher education with technology, sustainability and inclusion has never been more urgent. Walter Mwesi J, NTV.